All right, how's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win and today I actually want to talk about the gameplay. You know, sometimes I love talking about the gameplay and this is one of those games. So this is my best kill confirm ever. This is the fat most fast paced. It did start out very fast and like the first minute is like, oh man, this could be another game, but uh, it picks up very quickly, and I want to talk about the gameplay, a little bit about my class, and I do that sometimes. That's why I started my YouTube channel, to teach you how to get better, and I get a really high score in this game, so you can use it as one of those methods as well. So, I'm using the MP7 uh, with no camouflage, if that's relevant to you guys, uh, with the fast mag and the stock. And why I do that is, um, the MP7 already reloads in like 1.7 seconds without the... Um, fast mag so I'm guessing it does it around uh, 0.85 or 0.9 seconds with fast mag and obviously that means that you're going to be uh, having a short amount of time in any situation where you don't have ammo in your guns you can see I get caught right there between two people and then I use the stock simply because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of times in this game where I go around corner like right here and I have my I, I have my scope up so I like to be able to move a little bit quicker when I am aiming down the site as far as my perks go uh, I am using hardline just because uh, getting score streaks in this game is a little bit more difficult than any other game in hardline always helps you know it takes that edge off uh, especially when you're a few points away so uh, very helpful as you can see I pick up my second death right here I'm using scavenger because I'm using the semtex and the EMP grenades and I'll get to that in a second and I'm using perk 3 greed and I'm going to be using dexterity which I use on all of my classes because uh, especially like on raid like you can see uh, you can climb up these little rocks faster which I'm doing absolutely right now and uh, engineer which allows me to see enemy equipment now that lets me go back to my EMP grenade with the EMP grenade it is very important to use it with engineer because engineer allows you to see enemy equipment for hundreds of yards away or hundreds of feet and anytime you see that all you have to do is throw an EMP grenade in the relative area and you will destroy an enemy equipment now the EMP grenades also allow me to kind of give me a warning between what's coming ahead. I, you'll see I throw a lot of EMP grenades and that's becoming a habit of mine. So I throw an EMP grenade and if I get a hit marker, great. I know that I've either taken out an enemy equipment like I just did right there or there's a person ahead. And if I don't get one, that's okay. That gives me the clear to reload and do whatever I want, refresh my gun and uh, call in an orbital VSAT like I just did right now. So talking a little bit about the uh, score streaks, uh, I want to say in this game that I would be using uh, C4 instead of uh, Simtex, but Simtex works just fine in this scenario. Uh, I don't think I had the C4 unlocked. You can see right here, man, I noticed that Guardian. Let me just go ahead and um, throw a Simtex right there, and I actually ran out of my EMP grenade, so I'm my best here to take it out with uh, a grenade and such, and I actually do. So uh, very important and uh, very key to take out kill streaks. Not only did that help me, but it also helped my team, which was uh, very beneficial as well so getting on to my uh, score streaks as you will soon see I am using the stealth chopper the orbital VSAT and the warthog and I use these kill streaks for two reasons I'll give you the first one right now is when I use these score streaks I don't have to be stuck holding a laptop in the air when when you use things like the lodestar and uh, let's see what else the VTOL warship and the AGR you know you're gonna be stuck uh, with your face in the ground using the um, you know the laptop controlling and that's kinda boring I don't like that and uh, you know I wanna always be on the move because when you're controlling those laptops you lack the ability to get kills while you're moving around and as you can see right here with the stealth chopper and the uh, you know warthog in the air I'm able to still run around and do what I wanna do uh, especially with the orbital V setup do very well with what I wanted to and get a lot of kills so uh, I like that for another reason. The second reason is it allows me to, uh, you can use them at the same time. All three of these kill streaks are able to be used at the same time. So you can call in the orbital VSAT when the warthog's in the air, and you can call in the stealth chopper when the warthog is in as well. So you're getting double the kills, and you know where, you've got two kill streaks in the air at all times, and you know where the enemy team is because of your orbital VSAT. Now, all these are very helpful at excelling and also getting you extra kill streaks because if you think about it, for the past five or so minutes, I've had like white little plus 25s, plus 35s show up on my screen. And while that might not look like a lot, when your stealth chopper gets, you know, 40, and I just realized I had a brutal medal, and I think I actually died here, which is a shame. So um, I was really close to getting the uh, nuclear, and I don't think I got it. I'm not sure what happened. I wasn't really paying attention. But as you can see, I've gotten like three orbital V sets and three warthogs and three stealth choppers in this life. And that is all simply because these killstreaks stack very well on top of each other. And when they do that, 
Uh, what I mean by that really is like when you call in the stealth chopper in the orbital VSAT, every time you get a kill or your teammate gets a kill with an orbital VSAT, you're going to get an assist point. Your stealth chopper will get you 25 points, which will get you an assist point as well for plus 10. When your warthog gets a kill, it's going to give you more assist points for your orbital VSAT. So essentially every second you're going to get plus 45, plus 45, plus 45, and that is essentially like getting a kill. And in no time, you've gone through three stealth choppers, three orbital VSATs, and three, uh, you know, warthogs. And it also helps that I'm playing the objective here. You can see that I'm running and gunning, and by myself being able to run and gun, I'm able to go pick up these tags, and uh, picking up these tags are the name of the game. And right now the score is 81 to 26, so my teammates are doing a good job of not dying, which is very key, because if they had been dying, the other team would have been getting score streaks and you know earning different positions on the map, which I don't want them to have. And uh, yeah, so I had some pretty good teammates right here, and not to say anything about the enemy team. Obviously, I'm not some god at this game. These guys weren't great, but I feel like I did use really good map uh, knowledge. I stayed in this area right here. I navigated around uh, the garage area and places of cover. You rarely saw me in this area that I'm walking to right here, and whenever I'm in this area, I like to get a kill and get out, like you can see. I'm getting a kill, and I'm trying to move into the kitchen area over here uh, because where I'm standing right now is just incredibly dangerous. You don't want to be standing here. You're way too exposed, and you can see I moved myself into the kitchen right here, and I pick off a guy who was running and, uh, you know, wasn't, <laughs> didn't have his head up. So uh, there's my fourth warthog right there, fourth stealth chopper, which I can't even call in because one of my teammates has actually earned a VTOL warship out of a care package, which I applaud him for, you know, very cool, uh, teammates are always helping out, but yeah, guys, um, hopefully I gave you some good tips on how to get a higher score, how to do well, and, um, you know, a, a setting like this, a setting like a kill confirm, but other than that, guys, I want to say thanks for watching the video, take care, hope you guys are having a good weekend, good Friday, everything like that, have a good day, I'll talk to you later, and of course, I will see you guys in the next video.